y'all what's going on so today you guys are coming with me location scouting so i'm looking for a location for backseat part one um okay like so i know you guys probably think like well you already shot backseat part one i didn't like the way it came out to be honest like i just expected it to be more and to be honest uh, a lot of the colors is kind of like messed up because of the way i shot it with the gh5 i mean like it looked good like it, you know for low light the gh5 did well but i got an 87 s3 now so i just want to redo it so right now we are downtown right typically the reason like right now the reason i'm coming downtown because for the most part it's pretty like isolated like downtown is usually pretty pretty chill right now it's like i can show y'all so so you got there right and you got there so <clears throat> I typically like downtown for like that reason. So right now I got two alleyways that I'm looking at that I think is gonna work for what we're trying to shoot. I'm gonna take a picture so you know I can kind of like keep it. But we're just gonna keep looking. Like today again, we're, we're location scout. So like right now, so right now we're looking at this one right here, this alleyway here. Uh, but the only thing, like, see what's great about this is we got like you know we got the the like the leading line that's an alley, so it's always gonna look great. Um, my only concern is the fact that there's a window right here, right? So you know, people be sitting here looking, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but for security, it's kind of like petty, you know, maybe an issue. So that may not be like a good spot. Then you got that alley over there. Now this alley is looking kind of like the one because it's going to be a chase scene. Uh, I'm going to show you guys like where I'm going to be going to film the chase scene. And it's going to probably end up leading to this alley. But, you know, I feel like if I can kind of get like a wide shot, um, I'm going to wait till this, this bus come by. By the way, as far as the autofocus is concerned with the 28 mil, um, maybe I'm just spoiled by the 24 mil, the 24 to 70 Sigma, but I'm not really like really that impressed with the Sigma, I mean with the 28 mil. So anyway, look, um, I think it just focus. There we go. I think it's going to focus eventually. Anyway, look, um, I like that because like, if I have like a chase seat with them, like kind of running past this, we got like this big ass building right here. Right. So it kind of like, like, you know, do a wide shot with them running across and then we can lead them into the alley. So, give me a second, I'm gonna take the picture. And if you guys wanna see how the picture look, there you go. He's sibilance and I'm past him like the times that he's living in. All right, so I went handheld uh, because it's, do you, you know how hard it is to kind of like take a picture and you got like this big ass camera in your hand. So you about to turn down. So that's, that was on Monroe in LaSalle, right? So that's the that's one of the locations. Um, let me go check out another spot to kind of show you guys, but I may have to go back on the switch pod because it's deep. All right, y'all. So I got this pretty, <clears throat> pretty dope spot. I want to show y'all, man. And again, what, another one of those situations was pretty well lit, and it just, just, just looks good. I think this is, ooh, I think this is the one. I think, I think this is the one. You see what I'm saying? The autofocus on this 20, on the 28 mil, yo, is just kind of like low key trash. I have to say something so. All right, so so take a look at this spot here. Now listen, see, listen. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show y'all something because I feel like it's gonna be fire. So like, do y'all see that down there? This may be my spot. I'm about to check to see like how security be around here, but so far, this is, this is looking dope. Ah, but the water is still on. Hmm. So here's what I'm thinking. Like right now, and literally this is this is kind of why I wanted to kind of show you guys just like my whole process of this because the thing is this. The reason I like this spot so much versus the other one, I mean, don't get me wrong, the other one's pretty well lit, but this one here, like I know I can shoot like at a pretty low ISO and shoot like around 4K 60 frames per second or hell, even maybe 4K 120 and get like an amazing action sequence or maybe kind of have like a silhouette fight right here, right? So instead of them, Instead of them, uh, like, you know, being well lit, maybe I could just make this the foreground. Yo, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, 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 y'all, look, look, look. There's a contrast already between the blue and the orange, right? So it's kind of like if I did like a silhouette, it's almost like some poetry here a little bit almost, man. I just feel like this right here would be like a really, really dope fight scene and kind of like a way to, I don't know, man, this is, this is really looking like a one of me. But we gotta keep scouting, gotta keep looking. But I'm figuring like, man, we do like a scene, pan the camera up, or come down, woo, 
What? Oh, that's gonna be hard. All right, so, uh, I just, I just like that angle. I just wanna see how it look. So look, that right there is looking like another prime contender, man. Like that's the thing about my city. And that's the, like, this is kind of why I like scouting because you get to see so many different things, especially during a pandemic. There's so many open spots that you kind of get to use that you otherwise wouldn't have uh, use for. So we're filming this scene tomorrow. Well, Friday, by the way, we know that I decided to drop this video, but we'll keep looking. All right, so <clears throat> the next spot, what's dope is like the spots that we're picking, they're kind of like all in the same area a little bit, like for real, for real. Like that's what, okay, we're thinking that right. That's what kind of make this like so dope uh, because whatever area I choose to shoot in, I just, I got prime locations like all within this little one area here. So um, I gotta kind of like, tomorrow I'll be kind of like building a script out just a little bit more. Don't, 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 don't talk about me y'all, I know. I told you I'm filming this tomorrow, and I said I gotta build the script out some more. Tell me about it. All right, y'all, we are here at the other location. Now, this one is just because, one, it's like, it screams Chicago. Like, if you've been in Chicago, you know this is the spot. So let's go, uh, let's go see how we can map this one out. See if we can kind of get something pretty decent here. Again, I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be real with y'all. And it's not like, it ain't got nothing to really do with exposure either. I was trying to check it. Like this 28 mil just ain't really hidden for focus and autofocus like that. That's, I don't know what the hell the problem is. But anyway, look, here we have it. Let's turn the camera. So for this scene here, again, we have like another wide location, which is very isolated. Um, there's not like a lot of people here, not a lot of traffic going on. We got this big old building here now. Keep in mind, I'm, already, I'm only at ISO 3200, which I and, I, and I'm like two stops overexposed. So if I bring it out like ISO 2000, um, again, I can easily shoot at 4K 60 or 4K 120, right? So let's just see how that's going to look shooting in 4K 60 and 4K 120 to kind of get an idea of the range I'm going to be at if I decide to use this location here. But this is looking really good. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart, I don't die, I'm going to fight. I go down, then I strike, I go hard day and night, yeah. I go hard day and night, one to one, no surprise, see the hate in they eyes. My brother's blood money bleed, I got the game in the squeeze. What would you do for some green? What would you do for some blues? Go pick a choice. We got one more location to go check out, then I'm gonna pick up my wife. Um, now this one here, I might have to go, I might have to go to this spot when I pick up my wife, it's a little fur. I don't know. This, the next spot we going to, man, I just don't know. Cause I got like one, like this is a bonus and like there's another one that I'm actually considering, which is kind of like under some tunnels, like under uh, a platform. So I think I got time to go check both out. Let's hurry up and get there. All right, y'all. So that's the other location right there. Like, you know, the, I, I rock with that location, right? It, it's, it's, a, it's a great location. Right, you got the leading lines, got the lights up top. If all of them work, they'd be even better. But the only, my only issue with this location is it's like usually always like somebody out there smoking or something. You know what I mean? Like there's always somebody here. It's a great spot, but just a little bit too crowded for what I'm trying to do. So we're gonna go to the next location now. And three, two, one. All right, so that's the other location here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn because I hear like ambulances and shit. I'm gonna mess it up my video. All right, so look, this is the other location that I think could work pretty well lit here too. Only thing I hate the, the only thing that sucks here is the um, like the the yellow lights. You know what I'm saying? Like I really just ain't feeling that too much. Now here's the thing: there's other spots that we could go to. I could make a left here. Check that out. Uh, which I think I'm gonna do actually. So I can turn on to the bridge. Check out this other location. But I don't really think that like that's this spot works. Like this is a little rocket drive. Right. I just don't think I don't think it's all gossip now. Blah blah blah, yeah, I'm hot bitch. Trying to play me, but you tried it. Way too wavy, got to ride it. Pull up on you, you we slide it. Make a eyes roll when I slide it. Neck on wrist on shine. Yeah, I really get to see like me driving through Chicago like this. I figured like y'all want my scene this for you. Know the road on the side, these niggas be 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah. to Messing on my music. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that bitch in the trap. Hitting that bitch while we vibing. You know I'll be on that time and light up on fire and dress it up. Yeah. All right. So the other location would be over here. Now, hopefully it's showing. The reason why I like this, maybe even like a chase scene that can lead to this little area over here we got to turn into with this car's turning right here. If he turned, damn, bro. What are you thinking about? My man's literally sitting here thinking. Now, I could lead the fight scene to here, right? But, you know, let's hit this turn. Well, my, he, well he didn't even bother to he just stop there. He's just gonna keep on turning, okay? See, listen, I, I'm feeling this spot right here too. I'm really, really digging this spot right here too. Um, it, it looks pretty like isolated for the most part. Uh, let's let the window down so you guys see this a little bit better. It looks pretty isolated for the most part. It's clean. I know I can get some very low. Like right now I'm sitting at ISO 1000 and it's sitting pretty light, it's sitting pretty low. So this looks pretty, this looks pretty good here. Like this is definitely another spot. So let me take this picture real quick. So real quick before I forget, this is actually one of the spots I wanted to shoot at too. And the reason being is because with the chase scene, I think it'd be dope for me to shoot, uh, let me let the window down, for me to get like a drone shot uh, on the side of them as they're running down that pillar right there which I'm more than likely gonna do. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, and it's a it's an open space for me to get it. So more than likely, that's gonna be like another uh, another another location that we shoot. Like to be honest, I might just shoot like one of the chase scenes at Perry just because so, like it's it's that fire. All right, y'all. So got y'all mounted in my car real quick. Um, so what do we learn today, right? How do we like what do we learn when you're scouting for locations? Number one, make sure you take pictures, right? Uh, that's just, I feel like that's just a given. You should do that anyway, so you won't forget like what the location looks like. If you need something to kind of like give you more, <clears throat> more inspiration, like you would have it. The second thing that we learn is start to like, to kind of map out your scenes while you are there. So like for me, like when I, when I didn't have a camera on, I was writing down on my scene ideas. Cause like, yo, I had some fire shit. The reason why that's important is because whatever, like when you were there, Whatever inspired you to shoot that scene the way that you said it, you don't want to forget that, right? Because if you didn't, if you don't remember it, it may be a situation you get there. He's like, "Oh shit, how do I want to shoot this?" So like now that location sucks for you. So I would definitely like that's a must. You must write down your scene location, take a picture, and then write down whatever thought hits you instantly when you saw it, so you have something to reference to for your inspiration. So uh, other than that, yo, we, like I had fun today. That's kind of like showing y'all some shit. Like it wasn't like super, you know what I'm saying? all informational, if you will. It's just like a little kickback video. If you enjoyed it, man, please give it a thumbs up so I know the type of content and shit that y'all like. And, um, you know, I'll catch y'all later.